The Wellness Hour. An in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you have gum disease. Uh, there are new treatment options for you that can turn that around. My first guest is an expert on the topic, Dr. Panapur. Dr. Panapur, welcome to the program. How are you? Now, you practice. We should start. Uh, uh, your practice, I guess, is very unique. You, you practice what you call systemic dentistry. dentistry. What is that? Um, f- focus on my practice, again, is systemic dentistry, is taking a step back and looking at the patient as a kind of whole body dentistry. So I just don't focus on the tooth decay or uh, just a, you know your routine every six months cleaning. Uh, people that come to me are more aware of the connection of their dental health to the rest of the body. So they seek alternative methods and solutions in dealing with these chronic dental issues that they have. Is this have. kind of like a holistic dentistry? Is it alternative dentistry? Uh, I've, uh, I know you call it systemic, but yeah, I'm trying to... I, I've been referred to as a biological dentist, as an alternative dentist, but uh, what I like, what, what I keep referring back to is systemic dentistry. Um, for example, gum disease. Uh, okay. We know that the Surgeon General just referred to it um, as a new epidemic. So I think it's like three out of five people are suffering from some sort of a gum issue. Um, and as you know, the latest research has correlated gum, gum disease with diabetes, pancreatic issues, even cancer. And heart disease. And heart disease. Yeah, that was like USA Today did a fantastic. That's one of the things I pulled up anticipating this interview. I don't quite understand the connection at all. Well, but, uh, one thing gum disease or dental infections have in common is a bacterial entity that is referred to as biofilm. This biofilm is a combination of a bacterial, fungal, and a viral entity. And they've also been able to found this bacteria in people that are suffering from stroke or heart disease. So the, it, it's, it, it's called, and we've talked on the telephone about this, it's a chronic infection in your mouth, gum mm-hmm. disease. Well, chronic infection is in your mouth, true? chronic infection in the rest of your body. Okay. So if your if your mouth is suffering from a chronic issue, your whole body is suffering from a chronic issue. Let's talk issue. about symptoms, though. I mean, okay. e- you know, over the top symptoms. What bleeding gums? You say bleeding what else? gums, bad breath, halitosis, um, going to the dentist every three months, spending thousands of thousands of dollars a year to get their teeth cleaned. I'll give you a perfect example. I have okay. a patient that come to me all the time. Um, you know, I brush, I floss, I have over ten different toothbrushes. I just can seem to get this bacterial accumulation. Like they still get control. tartar and things like that? Absolutely. I'm calling it tartar. Yeah. Is that what well, it's called? tartar is just a kind name a for biofilm. Plaque is another name for biofilm. So biofilm. Okay. biofilm. So the yellowing stuff that gets in between. That is people. biofilm. Um, biofilm. It's, it's a whole nother. It's exactly so that's not about brushing, you're saying? Well, I guess this is a big question, right? Okay. You take a shower every day to keep the body cleansed. Yes. You brush your teeth on the outside, the inside. You floss to get to cleanse the teeth. Yeah. But the production of this bacteria, the constant production buildup of bacteria, bacteria is very systemic oriented. So some people get it, some people don't. Exactly. Whether exactly. they really brush or not. Absolutely. Is that true? Absolutely. I have patients that the last time they brushed was, I don't know, his sister's graduation. Not a single cavity. But you look back at his history, the way he grew up, his diet, uh, what his parents fed him, where he grew up, all those things make a huge so difference. So like, this is, and help me understand, this is so it's, it, it's a bit of a, like you treat it like an immune system problem. Correct, correct. We know that when bodies suffering from gum disease, um, bleeding gums, loosening of the teeth, bad breath. Losing patient, teeth, losing absolutely. teeth? Absolutely, patients going to dentist every six months and they can't get to get a hold on this issue we know that it I mean, also no matter, impacts. I mean, you're saying that even people that brush all the time. Absolutely. Floss all the time. Well, those are my time. number one patients. I'm, you know, I brush. Interesting. I floss, but I'm still losing my teeth. I can't get this condition under control. Well, my job is to step back and say, okay, well, let's take a broader view. What is your blood type? When was the last time you had a blood evaluation done? How is your hormones? How is your adrenals doing? Because I know while their mouth is going through this, the rest of the body is going through this. So that's when I make a proper referral to my medical doctors, naturopaths. You work with medical doctors, is that correct? I work with a variety of medical doctors, naturopaths, osteopaths, 
um, you name it. So there's a group of people that know about dentists like Not you. just a group of people. Like the Whole Foods crowd? Community of like people. Like the Whole Foods crowd, the people that are, uh, you know, they're looking for these. Uh... You know, this day and age, thank God for the internet. Okay. Through the internet, patients are seeking more than just your average drill it, fill it, bill it type of a dentistry. Okay, drill it, fill it, fill and it, bill it, bill it. Okay. and type of a dentistry. They want more. They want their doctors to know as much as they know because they've done their homework on but the But is internet. there good news? I mean, can, for the people with gum disease, and, and I did an internet search, over 50 million Americans supposedly, or have, periodontitis Stuffing or gum from, disease. Correct. And those are the same thing, is that correct? Correct. And uh, you can stop it. Absolutely. You can halt it. When we have a patient that follows our protocol that is able to help us with the proper referrals, we're able to help every single patient. Again, it's not about, okay, well, I'm going to clean your teeth and I'll see you in three months. No. We'll clean your teeth. We get things under control. You got to see a hormone specialist or your doctor. We got to create a rapport to be able to help you on both ends. Okay. Now, when I, you know, you know anticipating this interview mm -hmm. and, and the things that you told me on the telephone, brand new stuff for me to hear, and, you know, our shows airs throughout the U.S. and Canada, and my medical doctor friends, the uh -huh. anti-aging crowd, Correct. they all agree with this. They say if they're showing a problem in the mouth, there's problems elsewhere. Absolutely. So Again, that's your This goes belief. back to a chronic issue. Chronic issue will put a burden on your immune system, adrenal system, hormonal system, liver, kidney, everything, your pH balance. Is this your place as a dentist, though, to get involved in this? In I these think areas? my position as a healthcare practitioner Okay. And with the countless hours of continuing education that I've done in biological medicine, anti-aging medicine, so forth and so on, you know, my grandfather used to say, the eyes cannot see what the mind doesn't know. So the more I know, the more I can see. You know, very interesting, by the way, we, we should mention, you come from a, a lot of dentists in the family. Mm -hmm. Father, grandfather, grandfather, and great-grandfather, great all are It's kind of dentists. in my blood, yeah. How are you different than they were? Well, they... Again, grew up with more approach as a drill it, fill it, bill it type of a dentist. And you said that a little fast, so drill, drill it, it, fill it, fill it, and bill, bill it. it type okay, of a dentist. okay. Yeah. But now with all this latest research, with what we see out there, with all these new reports of dental health to the rest of the body, I just, my curiosity, I wanted to go and I wanted to learn more. So, so healthy people don't really get cavities. People that eat well. Absolutely. Exercise, right? Is Absolutely. that right? Absolutely. So you think it's a weakened immune system. So I catch this right. I don't want to put words in your mouth. No. A bit of a weakened immune system is what's causing... It's proven. Okay. It's not what I know anymore. It's, it's proven. And these are what my patients come and see me for. We've read about this. We're sick of this old way of doing things. You know, help us uh, to get back on track. But or, you still take new patients as a dentist. I mean, absolutely. if somebody has uh, cavities or things like that, I mean, you of, do those things. Mostly, Absolutely. That's, I would say, about 20, 30% of my patients. The majority of my patients are patients that are suffering from some sort of an autoimmune disease, cancer, hormonal issues. I get patients referred to me from doctors, naturopaths, chiropractors, osteopaths all the time that we know our patients dealing with a chronic infection. We've done all the treatments that we can, but we can't find this chronic issue. Could you find it for us? And by doing comprehensive examination, imaging, I see that the, that infection is actually arising from the mouth. It could be gum disease, it could be TMJ, it could be infected root canals, it could be a number of these things. So it is a chronic infection. Absolutely. So you what do in your I mean, practice? TMJ, you kill the infection. T TMJ issue is a chronic issue. Okay. Is a chronic inflammation, but again, that chronic inflammation. For example, um, latest studies out of University of Southern California, the TMJ joint has more hormonal receptors than the rest of the body. Interesting. So when the TMJ joint is under... That's some, the joint right here. Exactly, okay. well up here. When up the there, TMJ okay. joint is under some stress due to malocclusion, we know that... What does malocclusion mean? Malocclusion, bad bite, wrong bite. Okay. We know that the body is having hormonal issues, especially in our female patients. And when you have TMJ issues, we know that also leads to sleep apnea. TMJ patient that's watching this, and I have a lot of questions about gum disease. TMJ patient comes to you, what happens on day one? Take me through a little bit of the process. We'll do a comprehensive evaluation. And you're really usually the 10th or, or 15th dentist? 10th to the 15th dentist they come to. Okay. Really take a step back and look at the history, where they've been, what they've been doing. And then 
taking a step back, working with chiropractors and osteopaths and looking at the damage that has been done, not just to the teeth, but also to the posture of that patient. Um, There's a specialty of dentistry that I love. It's called chirodontics. Really? Most of the patients that that come to us that have TMJ issues, if we need to take a step back and look at them, you can see their eyes are off, their ears are off, and their shoulders are even off. So that tells me that it's not just the mouth. This has affected the rest of the body or vice versa. At the same time, I also like to know when was the last time they had their blood evaluated, their hormones, adrenals. What do they say? No. When was the last time you saw, you saw a doctor? When was the last time you had your blood? It says, oh, five years ago, six years ago. Or some even have the results right in front of them. And when this they is, bring by the way, me. whether they have gum disease or TMJ, same I, kind of thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. I always look like to look at these results at the of blood the blood work. test, hormones, is adrenals, it, Is it usually so the first time they've heard something like that? The patients? A dentist saying, hey, let me see your blood work, your no, hormone no, levels. No, no, they come to me because I pay attention to these okay, factors. Okay, okay. That's the reason they come to me, because I understand the correlation of your dental health to the rest of the body or vice versa. All right. So that's why they come to me. They want someone that knows more than their dentist and a lot of my patients already keep their dentist they have a rapport with their dentist they have a rapport with their hygienist but they're just sick and tired of going to the dentist getting filling every six months or you know getting a little filling little filling becomes a bigger okay. filling bigger filling becomes a crown crown becomes a root canal root canal becomes so a bridge. I'm smiling saying that bridge becomes an implant but, you, but but so I understand you correctly because we've talked a little bit off camera and, and I am beyond skeptical on this particular topic okay but if if uh if I go to you and you and, and we take care of, uh, I guess, your protocols. I shouldn't have to go to the dentist for teeth cleaning. How often? I mean, how once often? a year. Once a year. Once a year. You come in. We'll have some. Are laughs. you allowed to say that as a dentist? Isn't there a certain Absolutely. protocol? No, no, no. Well, we recommend for our patients to come in every six months. But usually, by the time I'm That's done, not with, necessary. But usually, by the time I'm done with my patients, they don't get the decay like they used to because we have gone and looked at the common denominators that are causing this decay. So it's not just about brushing. It's not just about blushing. And what about fluoride? That's a whole other animal we can get into. Big topic. I'm not an advocate of fluoride. Uh, I've been medical doctors with that. I don't recommend fluoride to my patients. I'm more of a nutritional guy. I like to see what type of a nutritional supplementation, if it's food pharmacy type of thing, or actual supplementation. I know that there's no way We can get what we need from food today, even organic food. There is no way due to the toxicity out there. So again, taking a step back, looking at my patient, evaluating their lifestyle, their habits, and be able to do something for them that other dentists haven't been able to do. Okay, so I understand that. Okay, especially bleeding gums, right? Bleeding gums, uh, teeth that are loose, um, bad breath. Um, you know, constant pain, uh, being tired all the time, headaches all the time, hormones are off. Um, Again, as we talked about before, we know that gum disease and diabetes are directly correlated. Now, diabetes happened first or did the uh, gum disease happen first? I don't know. Egg or the chicken? I don't know. They're both poultry. Okay. So that's the way I like to look at things. Again, you come to me with a gum issue. You come to me with a TMJ issue. When was the last time you had your body checked? When was the last time you saw a doctor who evaluated your Well, it seems like system? a lot of work, though. They go to the dentist. People still hate going to the dentist, Again, right? I love spending extra time being help, helping my patients in places, factors that no one else had been able to help. So in a way, going to the underlying cause of the problem, not just treating the symptoms. That means brushing and flossing and, and planing and scraping this stuff off at the dentist, you're saying... Well, it's not it's good just, to have your teeth scraped every time. But it's every just time you get a scrape, you get you, you But get those are just the removed. symptoms. Are, are what you're saying that you go to the underlying cause yes. of the tartar in the... I'm calling it tartar. Tartar in the first Why place. Why are you picking up plaque so quickly Interesting. compared to someone who never... Because some people don't. Absolutely. Well, they do, but not as quick as So others. you don't really uh, pick it up. I Last cleaning I had was a year ago. Now, I just... It, go ahead. My body, I don't pick up plaque. I don't accumulate plaque like some of my patients that come to me. Or I have patients that come to me, no decay, everything is fine, I just want to make sure. I'm getting older, okay. I'm getting my toxicity, so forth and so on. Just let me know that I'm on the right path. So, gu- so, so gum disease, periodontal disease, even TMJ, 
or, or specifically gum disease. Gum disease. Can be stopped. Absolutely. You're using ultrasound. I'm using ultrasound to remove the, and I've used laser in some cases as well, to remove the calculus, the tartar, away from the teeth. Calculus is tartar. Is tartar, right? calculus, Same thing. they're all just different stages. Plaque, okay. they're just all different stages of biofilm. Okay, so you kill it with some of the instruments. No, no, you remove it. You remove it with remove those it. instruments. But the way you help the body not Keep to... Keep it from coming back. Exactly, is looking at the whole body. Through looking nutrition. At, to, through nutrition, hormones, adrenals, liver, kidney, and so forth. Interesting. That's the way we do it in, our, in my office. So your ideal patient is who? Somebody watching this, who should go see you? A patient who is constantly pretty much living at their dental office. Every three months, every six months, they're getting decay, they're losing a tooth, constant headaches, constant uh, sleep apnea. These are the people that come to me. These are the people that I invite to come to my office. I understand people travel to see you. Correct. Uh, again, there's not that many dentists that approach, have this type of approach so I do get patients all the time that drive in or fly in to see me. So you still and do those, a, I mean, you do cleanings and things like absolutely, that. Absolutely, we do So cleanings. you're more of a whole, I mean, if somebody's looking for this, this, uh, this wellness approach, this holistic approach. Uh, systemic I mean, approach. Systemic approach. You're that guy. I'm the guy, yes. Again, a lot of it is due to the doctors, naturopaths, chiropractors, osteopaths, that I've been that I've met through my continuing education courses all over the states. Okay. So they know that again, Dr. Panapur is a person you want to go to. So you want to catch people early though. The early like in the, the world of, it's all about, back to gum it's disease. all about preventive medicine. I have a lot of mothers that are my patients that as soon as we get their issues under control, they're being their children. Issues right like away. what? Issues like getting gum disease. Issues again, like getting a filling every six months or TMJ issues, and they appreciate my approach. So next thing you know, they bring their children in, they bring their husband in, because they want to make sure, especially for their children, they want to make sure that the same thing that happened to them doesn't happen to. Is their it children. too much in the world of dentistry? And by the way, if, if you're just tuning in now, we're talking to he's a systemic dentist. Uh, I, I'm calling you holistic dentistry. Uh, you know, looking at the whole person. Uh, but you're so saying whole, that cavities don't have to happen. No, absolutely. And it's not about brushing. Absolutely. Do you think there's too much emphasis on brushing and flossing? I mean, do you? Yes, I think so. Again, you have, you know, all these companies out there that uh, say that they, are, they have the best toothpaste or they have the best so toothbrush. So if you eat right, sleep right, hormones are imbalanced, you're saying that you shouldn't have to get plaque or cavities. Absolutely not. Is that right? Absolutely. When a patient comes to me, let's say I have a tooth cavity. Okay. Well, of course, I have to remove that cavity and place a proper replacement for that tooth. But again, I want to know why did you get that cavity? Why did they get a cavity? I like to take a step back and find out what's going on with you. Why are you getting this cavity? And most patients that come to me, they're like, I've never had a cavity before in my life. Suddenly I'm getting cavities. Why? What's going on with me? Okay, let's take a step back. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Do you think it's on. a compromised uh, immune system in a way? Always is. Again, anything that's chronic, any kind of chronic inflammation puts a huge burden on your What do you think system. about flossing? I spoke to a dentist one time. I thought he was crazy at the time, 10 years ago, but now I'm hearing more. He said, I, I think flossing is dangerous. This is what he said. <laughs> he says, because it could, anything that causes your mouth to bleed, right. you don't want to do. What well, are your thoughts on that? Again, he's, he's absolutely right. Because when, really? when, when the gums bleed, that's when you're introducing that bacteria to the Into rest the of the system. Exactly. Interesting. For example, if you come to me and you need scale and wood painting, I just don't put you in the chair and start cleaning your teeth. I need to make sure if I'm going to be in there removing this bacteria, I anticipate bleeding, I got to have you in either some sort of a vitamin C drip, some sort of a tonic, uh, some sort of a supplementation, something to build up and be able to protect your system from the spread of that bacteria. So again, these are the reasons why my patient come to me because they've understand and they've read about the importance of keeping their teeth healthy. Okay, so you clear this up and they have more energy, they feel better? Absolutely. And if, if you, so, why? Because we're removing a huge burden from the immune system. Okay. When you remove that burden from the immune system, immune systems, oh, thank you. Okay. For example... Do they say that? The patients? Yes. Yes. The first, every patient that I start with a TMJ issue, as soon as I... I 
most of the cases, I fabricate a appliance for them. Okay. And as soon as I do that, the first thing I hear is, that, that night, I had the best sleep of my life. I haven't really? slept like that for a long time. I had a patient just the other day. She came in. I gave her appliance. She was going on a hike. She gave me a call the next day. She said, I had the best time hiking with my friends. I had so much more energy. Why is that? Well, by giving her that appliance. Because at night she was grinding and staying awake? No, no. That clenching and grinding was causing her sleep apnea. Okay. When these muscles of mastication, when they go through this clenching and grinding, these muscles get really tense. When the muscles of mastication get tense, they pull the jaw backwards. When the jaw goes backwards, the tongue goes backwards, epiglottis goes backwards. So in the middle of the night, airway. you're sleeping, you don't realize you're not sleeping. Well, you're snoring, or you wake up, okay. or you, you have you know constant, uh, basic, you, know, you wake up in the middle of the night multiple times, kind of gasping for air. You get up in the morning, you're always tired. Again, this particular patient, the feedback she gave me was I had the best hike ever, so much energy, I can do a whole nother, I can do it, I can do another one the same day. So I know that I'm on the right path with these patients and with our approach. Again, this patient of mine is seeing a, I referred her to a medical doctor to run her hormones. She's, she's young, beautiful. She's never even had her hormones tested. So we're taking that extra approach to make sure everything else is... Now, of course you're a dentist, proper. okay? And I say this yeah. respectfully. You think everything revolves around the mouth. Could somebody say that? I think it's the that? gateway okay. to your health, as is the gateway to your well-being. That's how I... You know, one it. of the things you said off camera, that if you had an infection, any other part of your body, on your arm, a sore, you would take care of it. But yet people have infections in their mouth and they do nothing. They neglect it because they it's wait... A good point. They wait till it hurts. And when it hurts, it's usually too late. So again, preventive, preventive, preventive. That's what I always so encourage. So should you look for a dentist? I mean, do you ask your dentist, by the way, are you a systemic dentist? Are you a wellness dentist, a holistic dentist, alternative dentist? Again, internet. Thank God for the internet. Patients today are looking for something more than just. And what do you look? What do you look under? You can look at systemic dentistry, alternative dentistry, real dentistry, biological dentistry. My website is alternativedental.com. Alternativedental.com. Yes. So I get a lot of calls, again, from different states asking me questions. I'm going to be in California in a few months. I'd like to come and see you. I've been dealing with this issue. Great. Go ahead and send me your images. Last time you saw a dentist, what happened? few phone conversations and then when they're in town they come and see me and I'm able to put together a proper treatment plan for them and a lot of cases I work with dentists in other states okay you know I've read about this my patients asking me about this I have no idea why do you do this kind of dentistry by the way what draws you to it curiosity okay curiosity again I knew from the first day in dental school I'm not your drill it fill it bill it type of a dentist that's not, I, I mean, just to, putting in fillings and setting them on their way and cleaning. That's not a type of dentist that I am. I like to take a step back. I mean, did to, you always know early on, okay, you're, you're, you're in dental school and you're saying, you know what, nobody's going, nobody's asking why are they getting cavities in the first place? Because well, some people get cavities, some people don't. Right, right. Well, it was the way I was raised. I was raised in a family that we really cared about nutrition and other aspects of life. So clear up this chronic infection. If you have, if you're grinding your teeth, fix that TMJ. Get it under control. And everything gets better. Absolutely. Really? Every case. Again, it's not just about what I do. It's also about that multidisciplinary approach. Okay. If I have a patient that comes to me... using medical doctors, using absolutely. naturopaths. If I have a patient that comes to me with TMJ issue or with a gum issue, you can felt assured that I'll be working with a medical doctor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or any other medical entity to be able to help my patient, to be able to get those issues under control as well. And when you okay. do, that's when success comes. That's when you're able to see these patients really turn around. So healthy gums. Healthy gums, healthy teeth, healthy smile, healthy being. And it can be turned around. Absolutely. So we're out of time. Final message. Somebody okay. watching this, bleeding gums, grinding their teeth, TMJ problems, uh, bad breath, etc. What do, you, what do you want them to know? I think if you are fed up with your current condition of going to your dentist every three months, every six months, spending thousands of dollars and having this decay or gum disease causing you more problems, 
I think it's time to step back and take him and take a more systemic approach to these issues. I can assure you that the patient is doing everything they can to try to brush properly, floss properly. Is there any historic data, by the way? People that live to be 100 years old or the healthiest people don't have dental problems? Do you know problems? my number one referrals come from anti-aging, doctors who practice anti-aging okay. medicine. They're my number one source of referrals because they understand chronic issues causes aging. So if I'm able to make sure that there's nothing chronic arising from the TMJ, gum disease, I'm helping my patients on a whole nother level than your just average drill it, fill it, bill it type of it. So the good news is you could stop it. Absolutely. And, and see the dentist once a year. Absolutely. And it's not a brushing problem, it's a nutrition problem. Nutrition, pH, hormone, adrenals, autoimmune deficiency, chronic issues. Gum disease is a chronic issue. What about people out there, and we're out of time, but they have mercury fillings in their Correct. mouth. What do you do? I mean, you do that? You remove those? I get asked by patients all the time, I want to have my mercury fillings removed. You know the protocol. Guide me through this, and I'm more than happy to do it for them. So you do it? I, I you have the vacuums it. and all that stuff? The vacuum, the vitamin C drip, all of the above. Final message, though, if, if you have bleeding gums, gum disease, have been diagnosed with gum disease, especially TMJ, Give you a call. Absolutely. All right. I want to thank you for coming. Thank to you. Show. Thank Great you so stuff. much. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to watch this interview again online, visit our website at wellnesshour.com. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.